hello guys you are all welcome to the sewing part of our last tutorial now i'm just trying to show you the short knicker you can either call it short or you can call it a knicker now it has elastic at the waist got a lot of requests on how to make um, a knicker or a trouser with elastic then with two pockets on the sides and zip yeah, so this tutorial is, is a comprehensive one. If you've not watched the drafting part, I would advise you watch it. I'll drop the link in the comment section. So this is the inside. Everything is all neat. Let's get started with the sewing. Now, this is me on the sewing machine because I want to show you the sewing parts. So we have the front pattern of the shorts and um, we also have the pocket now we will be sewing the pocket first this that is the first thing we'll be doing we'll sew the pocket on the two side fronts then before the back so i'm going to take the pocket and you know we have four pieces for the pocket what we need is the pocket facing yeah, so this is the four pieces now you're just going to take the facing the two the one that have this slanted part and you're going to take one of the shots and you place it right side to right side because it's a facing so you need it to turn it to the inside now i went ahead to place it on it that way and I'll be sewing with half inch. You can either sew with half inch or with 0 0.25. It depends on what you want to sew with. After sewing, you're going to notch. Yeah, you're going to notch it. Then I went ahead to top stitch it. So you're going to face it that way. Yes. Then you sew on the facing, not on the shorts you're going to sew on the facing very close to your initial stitch after sewing i took the pocket filler then remember when we were cutting it I notched the pocket. I notched the up and the side. That's just to show you where you are going to place it to sew. So right side to right side, you place it. You make sure the notches here yeah, matches each other. And you are going to be sewing with half inch. The reason why I notched that part is because we have the... Um, the curvy the hip part so you don't need to sew that part so just watch what i do now you sew it and you're going to sew this other side yeah you're going to sew the other side so that we can seal the pockets after doing that now this is how it is this is how the pocket is i sew like that and i sew like that then it is like this on your machine you just take it just watch how i'm picking it yeah so you pick it like that so when you pick it becomes like this then you're going to sew this upper part and you also sew the down parts that way you are joining both the shorts and the pockets together so you're going to sew then you also sew the upper parts just to hold the pocket together after that you can see you can now put your hand inside and the pocket is ready look at the inside then what you will do is you're just going to weave the rough edges that's later now i'm going to do that for the second front 
for the second front i'm going to do that so guys i've i did that for the second one so we have our pockets ready now you're going to take your back piece your back piece of your shorts so you take one back and one front because the way i normally join my trousers is different i used to join one of the back and one of the front together on the same side yes so you place them right side to right side and you join it on the sides not on the crotch so you're going to sew it half inch all the way down so that is how it is after sewing the side then i'm going to do that for the second one you take one of the back the remaining one of the back and one of the front you place them right side to right side and you sew with half an inch after sewing this is how it is now you take the front the first one i place it on each other now this time around i'm going to sew on the crotch now the first the crotch i'm going to sew is on the smaller one that is the front piece you're going to place them on each other and you sew it with half inch after that we are going to do the fitting of the waist now so this is me turning it that way because I normally sew on my right side. So you're going to place your tape. Your tape is starting from where you sew from, not from the starting line. Now this person's hip is a um sorry, our waist is a waist of 36 divided by 2. Now it's divided by 2 is 18 because it is placed into 2. So you have to divide your waist by 2 if you are doing a fitting like this. Now at that point, at the crotch point there, you mark half inch. Yeah, that place have to be half inch. Then you connect from your actual me waist measurement then to the half inch. That is how you do fitting for this pattern of cutting. So I'm going to sew it all the way to the half inch. So we have our waist measurement ready. Then the next thing is to now sew the crotch. So you take it and you now place it properly just how the shirt is supposed to be. I will be sewing the down part. Now you hold the two pieces together. You can either sew like that from that starting one to the end or you can sew from the middle and you also sew so it depends on how you want to sew your own just make sure the middle the two crotch the front and the back crotch align properly so after sewing this is it our shirt is almost ready now i'm going to iron and i'll be weaving everything before I continue, this is what I normally do. Once I get to that point, I would iron it and I will weave. Yeah, so I've gone ahead to do that. Now for the hem, hem allowance, we are going to be sewing it. Now this part, for those of you that might not want to put elastic on your waist, I don't weave off that allowance totally. I leave some there so that in case when your clients come back to tell you their waist is tight, you know where to free it from i hope you understand now the hem part remember i normally notch every point so that hemming allowance of two inches you are going to fold it that way and you will sew so i went ahead to sew it round keep folding is make sure your two inches is your two inch then i did that for the second one as well so you can see how it is then you take the second one you fold it and you'll be sewing it 
guys i hope you are enjoying this tutorial if you've watched to this part and you've not subscribed to my channel kindly hit on the subscribe button give me a like share this video at the end of it to your loved ones or to to your soulmates that you want them to learn guys so the next thing to do is we are going to be fixing the band to the waist so when i was weaving i did not weave the two that's the the half inch i did not close it together i weaved it separately so i can lose it and from there i can be able to fix my band now this is the band i gum it with a paper gum and after folding it is giving me two inches now i'm going to open it and show you how i gum it now i folded half inch inward then i fold like that so the total of the band you can cut is a band of five inches then the length i told you the length have to be longer than your waist measurement so that anything that is remaining you can cut it off so you are going to take your your trou your shorts and the inside of the shorts is where you'll be sewing now you place your band will be the good side on the inside of the shirt and you're going to sew it half inch all the way to the other end so after sewing like i said if you have it is better when you have excess band than having a shortage of band so i'm cutting off the excess after sewing it, you are going to close it that way. So for those that are not putting elastic on this waistline as well, you can just sew it on it to the other end. But for those that are interested in putting elastic, now this is how I normally put my elastic. My elastic is always at the back, not round all the way to the waist. No, it is normally at the back now i'm going to show you how to do that from the side there that place i'm pointing i measure one inch yes from the starting point there i measure one inch now my elastic is going to start from that one inch so from that one inch to the center back i measure what i have there what i have there is nine inches now i'm going to be cutting elastic of 12 inches after the nine i added three inches to it making 12 inches so you can add two inches or you can add three but i added three to this and i cut it i hope you understand then i'm going to sew on that one inch point i'm going to sew it and when you are sewing you have to back stitch like you tighten it very well so you bring it out and you're going to take the band and extend it to the side yes to the side of the trouser not at that back the side Yes, I'm trying to show you the side. So, the side is the next available side close to close to the center back. So, you are going to tighten it there also. So, it's just like from one side of the trouser to the other side of the trouser, but the elastic is on the back. That is from one side back to the other side back. Now, we are, we are now going to close the band now. So you close it that way and you'll be sewing on the, you know, on the edge. You sew it. Now you keep sewing. As you're sewing, make sure you check the back so that it's not folding everything is properly you know aligned so when you get to 
you just take your elastic just the elastic alone and you'll be pulling it so it can give you easy access for you to sew you can see the way i'm pulling the elastic from the inside i'm just pulling it so that i can have easy access to sew and as i'm sewing i'm also checking the back so that i everything is flat like i placed everything flat so we don't have any folding inside that is how you sew your band then to the other side now i finished sewing it so look at the front there is no elastic on the front just on the back can you see it that's the starting of the band now we are going to be sewing at the middle of that elastic it's just to hold the elastic together with the, with the fabric so you sew on the middle as you are sewing you are dragging it as you are sewing, you are pulling it, yes, so that they don't fold together. You are pulling it, so you sew up to that point where the elastic stop, and you also back stitch. Now we are done sewing the elastic. The next thing is to fix the zip. So this is the zip I'll be using, and I'm going to measure where i want the zip to stop so i turn it to the inside of the shirt and i mark where i want the zip to stop from the starting line that's from the starting of the band i marked eight and a half inches that is where i want my zip to stop then from there you'd take it to the machine and you back stitch on that eight and a half Now, I'm not supposed to show you how to fix it because I believe we are all designers and we know how to fix it. But I've gotten requests where some people will tell me, Ma, can you please tell us how to fix a zip? How did you fix a zip on your trouser? So this is it. It's, I fix zip on the half inch. The half inch allowance I used to sew my trouser or my shorts. That is where I, that is where I fix my zip. Now, you're going to place your zip on, on that half inch. Now that is why i like ironing so when you iron you already have your crease line so it is showing you where your zip will stop we be we you know we follow now you're going to be placing the middle of the zip on the crease line and you sew all to the starting point of the starting point of the shorts So that is it. You have to cross check your zip if this if your your sewing your thread doesn't climb on top. So you face it again. Now we are sewing the upper parts. So you are going to place your zip. Make sure the band, the two band matches. Then you place it on the half inch. Yes, and you are going to sew. Zip is very simple. That is the first thing we normally we learn, like one of the first things yeah, we learn if you, are, if you are starting your sewing career. I'm done fixing the zip and I'm going to zip it down so I can cut off the, the length, the excess zip I don't want. So... I went ahead to cut it and we are going to seal that upper part. Now the reason why I'm showing all these parts is because the tutorial is for beginners and you know intermediate and advanced 
so it can be friendly yeah the tutorial can be friendly i fix the zip guys and our shot is ready you're just going to iron everything you know so let's continue now the next thing is to sew the upper parts so you take the facing and you place it on it and you'll be sewing with 0.25 or half inch you take the back as well and you place the facing of the back on the neckline right side to right side and you are also going to be sewing it so let me go and sew it guys so sew me after sewing the facing this is how it is and i also overlock the edges now i use emmy gum to gum it just to secure it together so this is how it is and i did that for the back neck as well I'm going to be sewing the zip allowance of the back piece. So since I already have my zip line, it just give me a guide on where to sew. After sewing, I ironed it and this is how it is. Now we'll be joining the back and the front together. This part is actually very simple. So it is just the shot that took more time. Now you're going to open the facing and you place your back shoulder on the middle of the line and you use one of the facing to cover it and you're going to sew it down with half inch so this is me repeating the second one open the facing take the back piece you place it on the middle making sure they align together I use the facing to cover it and you are going to sew it so after that you will now sew the sides with the sewing allowance you added when you are drafting your own so i did that for for this one and i also ironed it now this is it after sewing the sides and the shoulder points so the next thing i will do is to hem the down parts yeah, but before I hem, I'm going to lose the the zip, the zip line at the back, lose the stitch so we can fix the zip. So after losing it, you now hem before you fix the zip. Do you understand? Yes. After losing it, you sew it, then you can now fix your zip. So guys, before we go ahead to sew now this is the sleeve how uh, you also hem the down of your sleeve then you fold it this way and you measure your armhole and you sew so you did that for the second one then you fix it on the armhole so guys i've gone ahead to do all that i fixed the armhole and i've also fixed the zip so our upper part is ready so guys this is it on the dress form it is looking all neat and beautiful i'll see you all in my next tutorial bye